love for you rises tall and strong like the tree of life. Do not promise me a mighty branch and then let me down with a tiny twig. Does everyone in Alrek Stade play their love game so loudly? No, it's just my husband. He cannot satisfy his wife! Ah, old age? No, he's still young and fit. It was not always so. He could not keep us apart when we were raiding. He, he would plow you during raids. Our first time was in the middle of a burning village. After a while, the crew made us stop. They said it was... distracting. Love can burn brighter near death. Have you tried revisiting these memories? Yeah, but talking about it is not the same. I need to feel it. Smell it. So you need to bring the excitement of the raid into your bed. You could help us pretend we are raiding. That will make my water flow. Come, we must tell my husband. I was only, uh... Well, all right. Grab your weapon, you big, strong vikinger. Today we raid. A raid? Now? Join me in the blood dance. Fill me with your battle lust. Oh, yes, yes! Let us go, Viking! Maybe you could start by breaking things. And scream, as you do, like it is really happening. It is uh, amusing, but not arousing. Yeah, it does not feel real enough. Maybe you need more fire, like your first time. Yeah. Burn it in our house. Burn it to the ground. the Valgrin's gates and enter Valhalla. Take all plunder you want, Vikinger, and take us also and let the love hunger consume you. Another time, maybe. But I will help myself to your chest.
Gorm still lives, Eivor. It pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river. I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify and turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow, we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Hjor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Ljuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson. You dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjortve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrat, you lie! Hold, Eva. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eva Wolfkist, you are Kjortve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? You are king of these lands, Harald. The decision must be yours. A modest and honorable answer. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exiled. Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You'll drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stebjörn Jarl. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change, and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. 
Did you know of Stupion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. I dream of a glorious death, but not at the cost of betraying my family. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight, we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Arrow's colors. He is already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harold may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. <laughs> 